People are certainly coming out here on the eve of All Hallows Eve for a scare, and you can certainly hang out with a bunch of creepy clowns, too. Inside the museum, there's a lot of relics and mementos from hauntings, exorcisms, things that go bump in the night, but Zach Bagans sat down with me to talk with me why he has a murderabilia from all these serial killers and why he thinks people should go see it. The line wraps around the building to see what lurks inside Zach Bagan's haunted museum. Whether you believe in the undead or call it all hocus pocus. This is a uh, kind of a true crime exhibit. What these killers did is very dark. What is real? No question are these real life monsters. Zach Bagan's shows me his room of controversial memorabilia or murderabilia from some of America's most notorious serial killers. Where I actually held the brain of John Wayne Gacy, the killer clown. Zach recently unsuccessfully tried to acquire part of John Wayne Gacy's brain. He does put on display the clown paintings done by the man who, in the 1970s, raped, tortured, and murdered dozens of boys and young men and masqueraded as a clown at parties. Loved ones of victims made sure other artwork was burned and destroyed after his 1994 execution. Other bizarre mementos, a painting of Charles Manson with his eyes painted with his ashes, the cult leader's bone fragments, dentures. And I just purchased a lot more stuff from Ted Bundy's. And, and the glasses of Ted Bundy that he may have worn during one of his 30 murders of young women between 1974 to 1978. None of these items here are meant in any way to glorify these serial killers, but we can't erase history. It's in a display. Yeah. People are coming to the museum to see it. Some would say this is glorifying it. Well, that's their opinion. You're not going to make everybody happy in this life. And like I said, the curiosity is finding out why these men did what they did and to see if they truly were possessed by the devil. Motivated of sorts by some evil forces? Absolutely. What would you say to people who say, this is their free will. They chose to kill people. A lot of them have that similarity to them, hearing these voices, admitting to having an entity around them. That's where my research into them is. Just these things that, that I collect. It's the unusual, it's the scary, it's the evil. You know what's possible for evil among the living and the dead? That's very well put. So I had a Twitter poll on my Twitter page. Would you see it? Would you not? 63% of the responders said yes. 37% said no. Take a look at these clowns, by the way. They got all sorts of tricks up there. Whoa, sleeves. 